Hi, uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to uh, model above ground biomass density using uh, the Global uh, Ecosystem Dynamics Investigation, JEDA Level 4B dataset. This uh, dataset is now available in uh, Google Earth Engine catalog. Uh, please uh, note that uh, this data, uh, data set is available at a uh, one kilometer uh, grid cell. Uh, for more information about the JDA level 4B, uh, level 4B data set, uh, please uh, check uh, the following website. I'm also going to leave uh, links uh, to the website. Right, uh, we are also going to use uh, Sentinel-1, Sentinel-2, SRTM elevation, and slope data as uh, predictor variables. We will also use uh, the forest mask uh, that uh, we are going to derive from uh, the ESA global land cover dataset, which was uh, produced in uh, 2020. Right, as for the predictor variables, uh, uh, these are the same that we, uh, we used uh, in the previous tutorial uh, on uh, modeling uh, forest canopy height. So I'm not going to talk about uh, loading Sentinel-1 data or loading uh, Sentinel-2 uh, elevation and slope as well as uh, the forest max. So these are covered in the previous video. So if you are interested or if you missed it, you can also check that uh, video tutorial. Right, so I am going straight uh, to preparing the training data set. So here uh, we are going to uh, load the JEDI level uh, 4 data set, uh, which uh, contains uh, uh, many, uh, uh, many data files. Okay, for example, it contains uh, the mean above uh, ground biomass. Uh, it contains uh, the standard error. It contains the variance. So this is quite a, a good data set because uh, we can check for errors. But for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I'm only going to focus uh, uh, on the uh, mean above ground biomass. So uh, we are going to load... Uh, the JEDA uh, level 4 B dataset uh, using uh, the dot image function. And then next, we are going to select the mean above ground biomass. And then we are going to clip uh, uh, it uh, to our study area. Uh, next, uh, we are going to reproject it, the dataset, uh, to fit to our uh, coordinate, uh, coordinate uh, reference system, sorry, so which is a uh, uh, UTM uh, zone 35 south. Right after that, uh, we are going to uh, uh, display uh, the data set that we have just uh, uh, clipped and uh, reprojected. The next step uh, is to sample the training points. Uh, from the data set. Okay, so here I'm going to uh, sample about 2000 points and then I uh, will add the, the points to the uh, map. And next, uh, we are going to split uh, the training data uh, into training and uh, test uh, data sets. Right, uh, so first we are going to uh, create an object that contains uh, the random column. So this random column is going to have uh, the training and then the test data sets. So training data sets are going to be used to run the model and the test uh, uh, set is going to be used uh, for model validation. Here, I've specified uh, uh, the seed value uh, 27 so that uh, we can uh, reproduce uh, uh, the, the same number of uh, 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 points that we are going to split for the training and test data set. Right, uh, after that, uh, uh, we are going to specify that we are going to use 70% for training 
and then 30% for validation. Uh, next, we are going to perform the random forest regression. So here simply we are going to uh, overlay the points on the predictor variables. Okay, so this uh, clipped image collection object uh, contains uh, the predictor variables. That is a Sentinel-1, Sentinel-2, uh, Elevation, and uh, Slope. So we are targeting here the, uh, the mean above ground biomass. Uh, th that is uh, available in the uh, JEDI uh, level 4B dataset. So after that, uh, uh, <clears throat> we are going to specify the parameters of our uh, random forest uh, classifier. So here, we are going to use only 50 uh, trees. Okay, you can change here to 100 and, and see uh, the impact on the model. And then next, we're just going to uh, run the classification. Uh, after that, uh, we want uh, to uh, specify the palette that we are going to use uh, to display the above, uh, above ground uh, biomass uh, uh, map. So I'm using uh, the, uh, the, the palette from uh, the GINA package. And after that, uh, we are going to uh, specify the minimum uh, value for the regression and then the maximum value for the regression. Then uh, this uh, next uh, chunk of code is only for preparing uh, the map legend. Right. So after that, uh, we are going to check the model performance. Okay, so here we are going to use uh, the explainer function. So first, uh, we are going to uh, to compute uh, the variable importance so that we check uh, the predictors uh, uh, that, have, that have more influence in the model. And then we are going to uh, prepare a chart to display the variable importance. Uh, following that, uh, we are going to uh, to uh, <clears throat> compute or calculate uh, the uh, model assessment uh, st statistics. So uh, in this case, uh, uh, we are going to first uh, uh, <clears throat> prepare uh, the chart uh, showing uh, the scatter plot. So here we are just uh, interested in seeing uh, the correlation between uh, the predicted and then the observed uh, uh, data. Then next uh, we'll compute uh, root mean uh, squared error and uh, we'll see how uh, the, the training model has uh, performed. Right after that uh, we are also going to, uh, to perform validation using uh, the unseen uh, uh, test data. So this test data, the 30%, uh, the model is not used in the training. So we are going to use this uh, uh, test set also to prepare the, uh, the plot, the scatter plot, uh, showing again the correlation between the predicted and the observed data. So this is for validation purpose. And then finally, we we'll compute also the root mean square error. Right after that, we are simply going to export our final uh, regression output, which is uh, the above ground biomass uh, density map. Okay, so I've already run the script. It takes a bit of time, uh, maybe about two minutes. Um, so this is our result. So here we have our above ground uh, biomass density map. And uh, it's uh, showing uh, uh, the minimum values uh, and maximum value. So between 9 and 60. Um, megagrams per hectare okay and uh, let's check 
the model statistics so first uh, the variable importance uh, so here we have uh, elevation and uh, uh, bend uh, six as the most important uh, variables not that here the map which represents the forest mask is not uh, important because it's just a forest mask and then uh, next uh, let's check uh, the scatter plot so it's just showing us uh, the correlation uh, between the uh, predicted and then the observed data as you can see the model seems to be not doing a good job uh, uh, the the statistics are not quite uh, robust as such uh, if we look at the the coefficient of determination here the r squared is uh, quite low so that means uh, the model is not doing a, that good job and also we look at the uh, the training uh, root uh, mean square error is about uh, 14 okay so 14 means uh, uh, 14 uh, uh, megagrams uh, per hectare right let's check uh, the validation statistics uh, here also we can see the uh, a bit low uh, r squared which is 0 0.48 it's it's quite low and uh, if we look at uh, the validation the root mean square error it's around uh, 15 uh, megagrams uh, per hectare right so this is all about our model uh, remember this is just a test model uh, here uh, we don't have a uh, validation from the uh, study area i think uh, we, we, it would be better to t to check with the actual uh, field survey data but uh, the, the range of uh, the above ground biomass uh, density estimates uh, uh, correspond uh, uh, to some of uh, the, the global uh, maps that uh, uh, have been produced from previous studies. But we can see there's a lot of uncertainty. So uh, it would be interesting if you can uh, run the script for your uh, study area and see uh, what's happening right so uh, uh, this is just a, a simple uh, script uh, showing how to uh, model uh, above ground biomass uh, uh, density in uh, google earth engine uh, using uh, the jeda uh, level uh, uh, 4b uh, data set right so remember also as i said uh, this is a, a one kilometer grid uh, uh, cell data set right uh, thank you very much uh, for watching uh, this uh, tutorial uh, please uh, subscribe uh, to my channel so that you get notifications uh, when i have a new video i see you in the next uh, tutorial